Hey, what is it guys? My name is Eric and welcome to yet another Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing an updated version of my Echo slash Reverb tutorial that I made about a year and a half ago. The main reason I'm updating the tutorial is because Adobe has since updated the uh, Premiere suit or whatever you want to call it um, and they've changed a little bit how the effects work so it's a bit different from the previous tutorial that I made. Also received a lot of belly criticism regarding how much I spoke in the intro and how much uh, useless information I had given, especially during the intro part. So I've already got a timestamp up to which you can skip ahead and I'm gonna cut the intro short and get right into the tutorial itself. So first things first, you wanna open up uh, Premiere Pro obviously and get your project uh, set up. I've got a clip here of me saying hello. Hello. Voila. And as you can see, there's a lot of dead space here, which is necessary for the reverb slash echo effect to work. Whatever dead space you leave it with, that space is going to be basically the uh, echo area. Um, so once you've got your clip set up, if you don't have a clip with a lot of dead space, I can show you towards the end of the tutorial how to add on extra dead space uh, into which the echo or reverb effect will carry on onto but I'm gonna assume you already got your clip set up properly so from here go up to the effects tab and type in reverb and as you can see in the previous version of Premiere Pro in the previous tutorial there's only one option now there's three I personally use the studio reverb but you can play around with all three so once you've got the studio reverb selected drag and drop it onto your clip that you want the reverb effect on going to edit and now you can just play around and change up all the settings and find uh, what suits you and your needs the best. I personally usually use the Great Hall effect uh, which is gonna sound like this. Hello. And as you can see all this dead space here the sound effect just carries on echoing. Hello. Uh, obviously, if, if that's not what you want, you can go through all of these presets and also I recommend that you go through all of these settings and play around with them. There are a lot of different settings here that do a lot of different things. Uh, I'm not going to get too in-depth with them in this tutorial, uh, but if you are interested in a more in-depth tutorial on how to, uh, what do these settings do exactly, then do let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. It's very quick and easy. Now I'm gonna carry on with the part where I show you guys how to add extra dead space towards the end of any audio clip so you can have the echo effect carry on. So for this part you want to duplicate the audio layer or the video layer that you already have in the timeline. For me it will be the hello um, audio track here. So I would just duplicate it up here and create a new sequence from that clip. So it creates a new sequence. Then I'm gonna unlink these because it was a part of a video clip. And then what I'm going to do here is select the audio layer and just set the uh, volume level down to minus 287.5 decibels. That's the lowest uh, that Premiere allows you to go. And the reason I'm doing that is because then there's no audio coming from this specific layer here. It's this specific uh, clip of audio. Now what I'm going to do is copy in the part of audio that I want to have the effect on. So let me just remove the studio reverb off of that for now i'm gonna press ctrl c on my keyboard if you're on windows um i'm gonna try and drop it down here basically i'm just gonna assume that this is the clip that i have hello so it's just me saying hello and nothing comes after that so i'm gonna track this clip that i've basically muted so it touches the end of the hello, hello. clip hello as you can hear, it cancels out right when the hello clip ends. That's what we want. Now what you want to do is drag and drop that new sequence you made with that audio into the main hello. sequence. And as you can hear, hello. it's hello and then dead space. And basically from there on, you do the same exact thing we did at the beginning of the tutorial where you drag and drop that studio reverb onto it, press edit, change these settings as you like i'm gonna put, put the great hall effect on it and it should have reverb for the rest of this clip here hello there we go so that's how you can add extra dead space towards the end of your clip if you don't have that and you really need that reverb effect 
to kick in towards the end of that clip. And that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please click that like button down below as it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions or suggestions for your future videos or whatever, then leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.